Hey guys, welcome back. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up on your way in. And before we get started, I, I just want to go ahead and give you guys time to get into the room. So hit the like button on your way in, guys. New people, welcome. New to the mommy sector, welcome. Let's go ahead and jump into it. guys welcome back happy sunday i hope all is well with you guys i'm having a great sunday so far started off my morning with the caramel macchiato starbucks espresso iced homemade okay and the caramel macchiato non-dairy almond and oat milk creamer that's how we're doing it over here so First, we're going to get into a reaction on Liv's life, and then we're going to jump into Strong Mommy Chrissy, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Give me one second here. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Liv and I'm back for another video. So I got baby. Say hi, mama. Say hi. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I forgot to say this video is titled Going to Jail. I have to turn myself in. See, I'm becoming a big girl, y'all. Look at me grow. Watch me grow. Okay. You big girl, mama? Look how she's just staring at the camera. Anyway, what's up, y'all? So, I'm sitting here. It is a day before I go to court. I go to court in the morning. And, yeah, I'm just, like, mentally preparing myself. I hate, hate going to court <laughs> because it's, like, it's just awful. I just hate it. But I have to do it. So, I'm going in tomorrow in the morning. And let's just talk about the bad stuff. Let's get that on out the way. So, well, the reason why you hate going to court, Liv, is because you are, you you basically have given up on fighting for your kids, and you are a deadbeat. Okay, so let's get into that. What does going to court look like for me? As you guys know, <laughs> oh bless you. As you guys know, I have my kids. Blah blah blah. We we we've been talking about this a million times, but um, I'm ordered to pay child support, as everybody knows and loves to rub in my face. I'm not making money. Okay, here's the messed up part about it. I had my kids their whole entire life. Um, he was in and out. He was mostly in. Gerard was not in and out of your kids' lives. So, you know, lie upon lie upon lie must be told when we're talking about Olivia, the narcissistic, unfit, delusional, psych mom. Okay. 
First of all, Liv, let's read the definition of a deadbeat parent, all right? Because we want to break this down. What is considered a deadbeat parent? Okay, guys, this is the definition. What is a deadbeat dad or mom? When a parent, such as yourself, is ordered by the court to pay regular child support, yet fails to do so over and over again, he or she is commonly referred to as a deadbeat parent. This pejorative term is used, the actual it term is used, the actual legislation of some states, and it is often misunderstood. You're a deadbeat. You have refused or basically making excuses not to pay your child support. When Gerard offered you that that 750, I believe it was 750. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. And you said that wasn't enough. I want a thousand. But you called him a deadbeat. And then he went and put his stuff on child support. In and out, I will say that. But he was in and out. And I always held down the financial part of it. I mean, not always by myself, but when he would go or come back or whatever he would do, I always did that. Okay. Before they left me, I was holding it down, period. So they take my kids away from me. <laughs> This is, this is the cycle that it happened in. And it's funny because it's just, it's crazy, right? They take my kids away from me and then order me to pay child support. At the same time, my ex, his girlfriend, people get on social media, defame my character, court records leak. Everyone makes fun of me because I don't have my kids. Anyway, the end result is my channel gets demonetized and I'm no longer making money. It's kind of like. Here we go with the lies. My kids are taken from me. And then I'm ordered to, to, to pay child support. Liabilities. But I've always taken care of my kids. Anyway. So. A lot of child support has been paid. But a lot of it hasn't been paid as well. Because like I said. I've moved so many times trying to get, be close to my kids and it's just a lot of money has been spent wait a minute how did you move so many that, times i'm not trying to be close money. to your kids money for a while when now. you move and the people who from take... texas to florida to texas to florida to texas back to florida back to texas how did you move to Florida? how is moving to florida trying to be close to your kids you move let's get it straight live after you kept those kids unauthorized, after you had a custody agreement in place by the judge and your kids have been taken from you, as they should have, put in the wonderful care of their father and their real mama, Nisha, who does a way better job at taking care of these kids. Everybody knows it. Those who pretend like they don't know, absolutely delusional. You violated the child custody order. Olivia, you violated the order. So don't play dumb games with us because we're not here for it. We're going to speak the facts and we're going to prove you wrong every time you come out of your mouth with that garbage. Care of, you know, my kids and I, aka her daddy. He's not going to pay my child support. My mother is not going to pay my child support. People around me are not going to pay my child support. That's not their responsibility. It's mine, right? So if I'm not making money, how am I going to pay it? Anyway, like I said, a lot of it has been paid. Excuses, excuses. We do not care. Listen, guys, this is, I feel like this is a better description. We're going to go into deadbeat parent. A deadbeat parent is a term referring to parents who do not fulfill their parental responsibilities. I repeat, a deadbeat parent is a term that refers to parents such as Olivia O'Lyre Johnson, who do not fulfill their parental responsibilities, i.e. taking their kids to school. I repeat, taking their kids to school. And, and what on top of that? on time your kids were absent too many days and your kids were late for school 
because you decided to stay up all the night on that Coca-Cola. You decided to stay up all night partying and smoking um, that funky green. You decided to stay up all night doing God knows what, acting like a teenager instead of handling what? Your parental responsibilities. I'm going to get back to the definition. Especially, listen to this part, Liv. Get your hearing aid, turn it all the way up on 100. Especially who, I'm sorry, when they evade court-ordered child support obligations or custody arrangements. Did you hear that? Deadbeat parents do not fulfill their parental responsibilities, especially when they evade court-ordered child support obligations or custody arrangements. You have done both. Listen up. You're the definition of a dead beat. This is not up for opinions. These are the facts. You are behind on your child support. You just said so yourself. You kept your kids and broke a custody agreement. That's why you did not see those kids. That's why you moved back to Florida. Let's be clear. The first time you moved to Texas, back to Texas from Florida, Florida back to Texas, Texas. The first time you moved from Texas, what was that, two years ago, guys? Two years ago where you got pregnant by AJ's mystery dad, by ghost dad number two, ghost dad number one, my bad. Kai Kai's father is ghost dad number two. So when you got pregnant with ghost dad number one, while still married, while still married, don't get it twisted. When that happened, you were a deadbeat mom then because you broke a custody agreement. You started getting behind on your child support. You started not caring about your channel so you wouldn't have to pay child support. The judge said, bitch, not on my watch. <laughs> not on my watch. It's not that I don't want to pay it. It's that I cannot pay it. So oh, oh. anyway, um, yeah. So that's not why, that's not the reason I'm going to court tomorrow. I'm going for other things that will be heard as well, the child support stuff. But it's funny how on social media I'm a deadbeat mom. Wait a minute. But I've always taken care of my kids. Why are you putting like, that in You guys have never seen me not take Why are you a deadbeat? You are a deadbeat mom. Look up the definition of deadbeat. You will see a triple chin woman, not so attractive sitting beside it, which is Olivia. She's the deadbeat. You know, like how Chris is a deadbeat dad, how Wine Guns and Chills Bay, her 12-year fiance, 15-year fiance, whatever, how many years they've been together, he's a deadbeat dad as well. You're a deadbeat mom. Chris is a deadbeat dad. Wine Glass and Chills Bay is a deadbeat dad. I mean, what's the problem here? Take care of my kids. Not being able to pay a court-ordered child support because I'm not making money anymore is very different from being a... We don't care if you're not making money. Remember, you didn't care if 750 was enough. Well, we don't care if you're not making enough money. We don't care. That's for you to figure out since you popped all three of those kids out of your couch. Deadbeat parent. Now figure deadbeat it out, parent deadbeat. Runs from their obligations. Doesn't want anything to do with the kids. Don't want to deal with their kids. I've always had my kids. My kids were taken away from me against my will. So, you know, and on top of it, my ex wants child support from me, but he pretty much went to my job and got me fired. You know, he played a part in me being demonetized. How are you demonetized? What I see down here. I see what I see, y'all. I see that you have... 97.8k subscribers, right? And there's a join button right next to it. Join what? The membership. Are you slow? Are you slow? How is that not working? We know you never did a real job in your life. 
but you do have a job on social media and you're doing it right now while you're lying saying you're not doing it. Make it make sense, Liv. You're a weirdo. So, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's very narcissistic. It's very gaslighty. The way people are like, you're a deadbeat. No, I'm not. I'm not a deadbeat. And that's like so sick to me that people would even say that to me when I've literally taken care of my kids, shoveled out thousands upon thousands upon thousands for my babies with no problem, not even caring because they're my kids. I take pride in taking care of my children. They were taken from me. I didn't give them up. Okay. I never left them. I never got rid of them. I never ran from my responsibilities. I was always 10 toes down in my responsibilities. So with that being said, that's false. I'm not a deadbeat. I'm sorry. I don't care how people want to slice it, dice it. It's not what it is. It's just not what it is. So anyway, with that being said, I just want to explain that because it's funny how people are sitting around, pay your child support. You take my kids away from me. I'm a stay-at-home mom. You take my kids away from me. Stop saying you're a stay-at-home mom. I'm going I'm to give you the rundown. Liv, Jess. Allison, Alana, Wine Glass and Chill, Strong Mommy Chrissy. I need you five dummies to stop saying that you're stay-at-home moms. Being a stay-at-home mom is when you have a husband and or mate that is there taking care of you and your kids with a what a J-O-B, with what cash money. Not one of you have a man that is there to support you. Wine glass claims she does. It's a joke. We already know. You're a welfare recipient pretending as though you're a stay-at-home mom. There is a difference. The difference is people that husbands are taking care of them or mate or spouse is taking care of them are providing for them or helping take care of them or providing health insurance are providing co-pays, something you guys know nothing about because you get medical assistance, food stamps, and welfare checks. And some of you get slow checks. Is there anything get wrong with getting medical assistance, food stamps, and welfare? No, not if you're planning to upgrade yourself in the future. But if you're planning to make welfare, stay-at-home mom, a lifestyle choice, shame on you. You're a broke, dumb loser period. No, I do not feel sorry for you because if your plans are just to keep having kids and collecting checks, that's not a plan. You're going to dig that ditch and then you're going to have to jump in it. And, and then you're like, pay your child support, but I'm not working. And pretty much a lot of people played a part in me being demonic. Girl, shut up. All right, listen, y'all. Our deadbeat this is the question is are there more deadbeat mothers than fathers deadbeat moms may be more common than deadbeat dads only 50 percent of mothers in one set of census figures who were required to pay child support were actually current on their obligation this left approximately 289,000 mothers who failed to pay their obligation live you are one of the 289,000 mothers who does not pay child support you are behind on child support. Get a job, get a life, and uh, what are you doing with your money? What are you doing with your money? Oh, because you're posting a lot. What are you doing with your money, Liv? You're a weirdo. Or maybe they didn't play a part in it, and maybe my channel just got demonetized. But for whatever reasons, my channel's demonetized, and I'm not making money anymore. Anyway. With that being said, there is a chance that I might go to jail tomorrow. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's a chance I might go to jail. Whose fault is that? How do I feel? That be mom's fault. I feel like it's counterproductive. <laughs> Very counterproductive. It's to teach me a lesson. Okay, cool. But you're not teaching me a lesson. If I can't do it, I can't do it. Um, I still take care of my kids. I still pick them up every chance I get. I still am there physically, financially, because don't get it twisted. I pay for everything when they're here. I pay for a three-bedroom roof over their head. Um, they have their own rooms, 
everything furnished. You feel me? So I still pay for my kids. Just like when he wasn't paying any child support and I had them under my roof. I wasn't getting child support. Was he a deadbeat? Oh, okay. Anyway. Um. All right. Forget about her. Let's see how does having no father affect the girl. This is for you, Liv, and Kai Kai. Because we know Kai Kai's daddy is MIA. The absence of a father figure can have significant psychological effects on a daughter. Studies have shown that father absence is associated with an increased risk of depression, anxiety, and other mental health problems in daughters. Also, you're more likely to end up in poverty, drop out of school. Okay, Liv is living in poverty. She did drop out of school. Become addicted to drugs. Oops, Coca-Cola nights. Up all night drinking doing coca-cola have a child out of wedlock and end up in prison you're worthless Liv. but you were gonna do that regardless even if you did have a father because he's out probably on the boulevard somewhere but yeah i might go to jail i'm praying that i don't i hope i don't because i don't want to leave this little girl you know i have two i have an infant and a toddler See how AJ always comes last? She doesn't care about AJ. And plus, I don't want to be away from my other kids either. So we're hoping that that doesn't happen. Could it happen? Yes. Am I pre prepared mentally if it happens? Yes. Am I pre prepared financially if it happens? Yes. Everything is prepared if that happens. You're but not you prepared. <laughs> okay. You like if you were prepared, you wouldn't have had two baby daddies and a... And within four years of being divorced, two extra baby daddies, totaling three. You wouldn't have had a baby daddy for each, for every other year. Who does that? Who plans that out? Oh, I'm going to have a baby by one person in 2020, except for Chrissy. And then in 2022, I'm going to find somebody else and have a baby by them. Who does that? Who does that? It's kind of counterproductive to the whole situation. It doesn't, it doesn't help me get a job. It doesn't help me pay child support. It doesn't help the situation at all. It just takes me further out of my kid's life. They won't be able to see me. They'll miss me. They'll wonder why I'm not picking them up. This baby won't have her mommy. AJ won't have his mommy. The system's fucked, in my opinion. But um, we'll see. Like I said, I'm praying that that doesn't happen. But it could happen, you know? At this point, I'm making this video and I'm pretty much laying it all on the line just so I can like get it out. I wanna like say this so I feel better about the situation. I don't think it will happen, but just in case, you know. All right, y'all, now we're gonna find out what is the fatherless girl behavior. Fatherless daughters often face a lack of confidence and struggle with decision-making. The absence of the father's guidance and support can leave them uncertain about their abilities and hesitant to trust their own judgment. This can hinder their personal and professional growth and lead to missed opportunities. Her whole life is a missed opportunity. She missed the opportunity with her husband to be a decent wife. She missed the opportunity with her kids to be a decent mother. She missed her opportunity to get a GED. She missed her opportunity to finish high school. She missed her opportunity to finish nail school. And now she's lying about going to another school, which we know she will not, neither start or finish. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Wait, mama. What happened? What happened, booty boo? Oh, you want some booby? some booby. I'm currently breastfeeding her. All right, y'all, listen to this. Where is the best place to move as a single mom? When it comes to affordability, cities like Austin, Texas, Raleigh, North Carolina, and Tampa, Florida. So we got, we got, um, Liv is in Texas, Jazz is in Texas. No, they're not in Austin, but they're in Texas. Raleigh, North Carolina. I don't know if, I think your girl was in North Carolina, y'all. Is Nika in North Carolina? Y'all tell me, because I'm not, down with Nika. I'm going to try to watch some videos, but I don't know if I can do it, y'all. I'm going to just let y'all know. She's a nightmare. 
but it says Raleigh, North Carolina, and then Florida. I think Peach is in Tampa. I know Peach isn't um, single, but she's in Tampa, right? I think y'all tell me because I don't really watch her like that. But those three states offer low housing costs and a reasonable cost of living. These cities are also both strong job markets and plenty of employment opportunity for single moms looking to provide for their families. So there you go. Austin, Texas, Raleigh, North Carolina, and Tampa, Florida are the best places to live if you are a single mom, guys. I don't know. That's true, but you know, you tell me. So you guys, let me know if you live there down in the comments, down in the chat. Let me know if you live there and what's going on with the job market down there. Happen for her sake, for all of my kids' sake, for my for my mother's sake, for everybody's sake. It's just counterproductive, as I said before. It's not gonna help him get any more any money from me. If anything, it's gonna slow down the process. But we'll see, you guys. I'm a G, and either way, I'm gonna be okay. I just want what's best for my kids. That's all I wanted from the jump. No, you don't, because if you wanted what was best for your kids, you would have took them to school on time. If you wanted what was best for kids, you wouldn't have slept with Maurice on a girl's trip while you were just married. If you wanted what was best for your kids, you wouldn't have cut Ryan's hair. If you wanted what was best for your kids, you would have did whatever you had to do in your power to keep custody of your kids, but you decided to get braids and buy Gucci shades. Yeah, you decided to get braids and you decided that buying Gucci shades was more important than spending that $400 on a lawyer. That's what you decided. And my kids deserve to have their mommy. My kids deserve to have both parents. Because they're the best kids in the world. Seriously. Best kids in the world, including you, okay? I'm talking about you too. But yeah, that's what Liv is going through. Is Liv is going through a lot. Girl. And to me, this is all so unnecessary and so ridiculous and so crazy and so. What's ridiculous about one parent crazy. expecting the other parent to pay child support? Didn't you expect Gerard to pay child support because you complained about it for damn near a year until he took custody of those kids from you? So now when you're, see, this is the problem with these narcissists. When a narcissist is most, is expected to have, look, when a narcissist has expectations, they have to be met, but they can't put this, nobody can put the same expectations on the narcissist because now you're talking crazy. Girl, bye. But it happens. It's the world we live in. And like I said before, this is what I'm going through. So just pray for me. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Like I said, if you guys are seeing this sooner than later, then obviously I'm not in jail. But I'm living, I'm, I have to go, go through life thinking, am I going to get locked up for not paying for something that I was paying for all along? I've always financially took care of my kids. But if I'm not making it, how can I pay it? So anyway, I talked to my lawyer today and it was a good conversation, but there's still that possibility. So I'm just preparing myself. What's up, baby? Okay, he ran to his room <laughs> where my mom is. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, guys, that's it for Lilivia. All right, let's move on to the next reaction. So we're going to do this next reaction. So this is going to be a small clip from a video, my one of my reactions about Chrissy wanting to get pregnant by every each and everybody that she meets, right? So remember when Rod was knocking her head between the washer and dryer, but she still wanted to have a baby by him? Okay, so we're going to take a look at that. Let's see, guys. I think Christy took this video down, but we are going to have a nice little look-see. And so let me get into it, guys. One second. Let me bring the screen up. Hit the thumbs up if you're just getting into the room, please. All right. All right. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Let's get into this reaction. 
and like still giving you the shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got a snack up there. I don't know if y'all can see it. My desk a mess, so don't pay attention to that. But he got his little uh, macaroni and cheese up there because that's what he wanted. And I gave him some of the, um, the little <clears throat> Nutella dippers that I gave the kids for in their lunch this morning. And he had some orange juice and he's good to go. He just likes to get into shit. You know what I mean? That's just out of it. He'll probably get into some more shit in a minute. Just, let's, let's just pray. Um... But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and <laughs> write the joy of children, right? So, um, anywho, what I was going to say was I just posted a video not that long ago, a few hours ago this morning, um, about me and Bay. All right, y'all see Blaze? All right, y'all, hold on. Let me wait till it come back. All right, y'all see Blaze over there, hair looking a hot mess? Here we go, right here. Y'all see Blaze over there looking crazy? See, Chrissy don't want to show her kids because even though she not going to do their hair every day, you know, she do hair videos and all that stuff. We don't always see her kids on camera, but she's not going to show them. See, Chrissy wised up on that part. That's one thing she did wise up on, not showing her kids. But we got you, Chrissy. And that probably is a part of why this video is down because God forbid we talk about the strong mom, Chrissy. In fact, somebody came in my comments the other day and got an attitude with me because I did a video on Chrissy. Why do you care about what Chrissy is doing? Oh, we worship the ground that Chrissy walks on, guys. We worship the ground Chrissy walks on. Don't talk about Chrissy. She's a mommy sector fave. Well, don't come in my comments with that bullshit. She said, laugh my A off. Why do you care how many videos she makes? It gives you a reason for content as well. The irony. Girl, let me explain something to you. First of all, it's not that I care about how many videos she makes because, yes, that is content for me. All right? I'm, I'm doing a little sidebar, y'all. Give me a second, okay? I'm going to get back to the reaction. PSA, I can make any comments I want. Now, if you're so concerned... If you're so far up into Chrissy's cervix, if you want to become a part of her uterus, if you want to become a part of her vagina, or maybe you just want to scissor Chrissy, that's not my business. All right. I'm on here reacting on my channel and I can say what I damn well please. Do I go to other people's channel? Why are you talking about such and such? Oh, such and such is a great person. Such and such is a great mom. If they want to drag somebody for Phil, flat them. It's their channel. I suggest you get your own channel and then you can kiss Chrissy's ass over there. Do I care if some reactors favor? Look, everybody has their picks, right? Just because I don't really have a pick. All right, like for instance, I don't talk about Nika and I don't really talk about Peach. Does that make me a terrible reactor? No, I just don't really get into them like that. Sometimes... I see a video on Peach, but I'm not really into her. Nika, I, I just can't get into it yet. I'm going to try to get into it, though, because I think y'all want those reactions. Some people that uh, people come into my Instagram inbox asking me to react on, I'm just not interested, y'all. All right? I'm going to try to get into some other people, but... I don't go over to people's channel asking them, why aren't they reacting on this person? Why aren't they reacting on that person? People can make suggestions that they want. It's nothing wrong with that. But to ask me, why do I care? Bitch, why are you over here? That's the question. But then when I react on Liv, you're the same person down in the comments calling her a clown. You're the same person down in the comments saying Gerard is trash. So make up your mind. Well, as a matter of fact, don't even make up your mind. Start a fucking channel and get out of here. Because it's trash. You're trash. That comment is trash. Oh, why are you worried about how many videos Chrissy make? Because the fuck I want to make it. Because I want to say something. And you're not going to stop me. Now let's get back to the reaction. And already... I feel like I'm, I worded that video wrong. And without, how do I put this? Without sacrificing the privacy that I wanna keep during this time, in order to explain things, to make them make sense for every single body, it's just like, you know, I understand there's many people who are mad and stuff at the fact that I just wanna have more children or whatever. 
the nerve or whatever uh, I'm not gonna be able to please everybody and I knew that before we said anything about it I've talked we've talked about this multiple times so it wasn't a surprise for me and that's okay I'm not really I'm not really mad about that but what I mistakenly did in that video was I said that everybody that I know is pregnant right now. I'm sorry, what? Lost your damn mind. And I think that kind of got misunderstood as oh, I have to rush to get pregnant because everybody I know that, that is, is pregnant right now. And that was my bad. And I should have been more careful with the way I selected my words because that's not what I meant. Um, what me and Rod have got going on has, we've been talking about having a child for a while, but I wasn't ready. And he's been wanting a baby for a while, but I wasn't ready. When he came, when we got together, when we got into this relationship, he was very open and honest about what he wanted. And I was open and honest with the fact that I thought I was done having children at that time. Being with him has made- All right, so hold on, y'all. Let me go back to this part real quick. Me and Rod have got going on has, we've been talking about having a child for, for a while, but I wasn't ready. And he's been wanting a baby for a while, but I wasn't ready. When he came, when we got together, when we got into this relationship, he was very open and honest about what he wanted. And I was open and honest with the fact that I thought I was done having children at that time. Being with him has made me change my mind for him. What the hell are you talking about? Um, but for me too, but, um, so there's been a lot of planning just to plan, if that makes any sense. So, and I, I'm not talking about, this is nothing that happened because other people who are attached to my name have things going on. Okay. This is the part that I wanted to stop at. All right. So I got it. All right. So the reason why Chrissy is saying that is because. At this time, I believe Liv and Jazz were pregnant. Because remember, this was about two years ago now. Maybe two and a half years ago. I'm not exactly sure of the timeline, but you guys get what I'm saying. That that Jazz and Liv were pregnant. So Liv was pregnant with AJ. Jazz was pregnant with Stinkabug. But then, also, Ming probably just found out she was pregnant. So Chrissy is pissed because she's the breeder of the mommy sector. So the queen breeder is mad because, oh my God, I can't get pregnant, guys. Guys, how can anybody out pregnant, pregnant me? I'm the queen of the mommy sector. I'm the queen of the breeders. So that's, that's what's going on here. Okay, that's what's going on with this situation. Chrissy is jealous because Jazz really, it's really Jazz. I don't think she care about Liv, but Jazz is pregnant right here back then. Um, it's just because it just, I don't know, it just happened around the same time, I guess. We've been doing it, we've been planning to plan for a long time. Because of personal reasons, I don't know, maybe I'll sit down and do another video with this about this, but because of personal reasons, we're, we're planning. Okay, we're planning now. Um, and that's just kind of what it is. And I don't want you guys to misunderstand. I guess it was my fault. And I apologize for making that confusing for you guys. I should have, when I when I sat there and thought about it, I was like, damn, I'm not mad at people assuming that, but I feel like an asshole because I didn't take the time to thoroughly explain what it is that we're trying to do or why. Um, and oh, I don't really want to explain why. It's really nobody's business. It's just like, sit back and enjoy whatever content we provide for you guys. It just pray for us to be happy or whatever it is that you, you know whatever um in the long run but because everybody's gonna have an opinion that's fine there's that um okay um i'm gonna get the kids um uh, <clears throat> i was gonna say so uh damn what i was gonna say y'all he didn't want by i forgot what i was gonna say oh yeah so but I should have, you know, explained it, you know, better to where you guys could understand. This is not because anybody else has anything going on. It's a blessing. I'm happy for everybody's, um, everybody who's pregnant right now. There's some people that you guys don't know that I know that's on YouTube that I know, you know, and they're, 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 um, they're babies. They're conceiving or they've conceived or whatever. Fuck. <laughs> All 
All right, guys. So we're done with the strong mommy Chrissy part of the reaction. So, yeah, Chrissy was basically trying to get pregnant again. Rod's sperm count wasn't high enough. She was desperate to be pregnant, des desperate to be knocked up, desperate for baby number 10, as usual. The sperm queen, the pregnancy queen, the <laughs> strong uterus, the breeder queen of the mommy sector just had to have another baby. So the point of me showing you guys that video was to say that she tries to, she does try to get pregnant by every guy she messes with. Now she claims she doesn't, right? She claims that if she tried to get pregnant by every guy she had, that um, she had had sex with, she would have like 50 kids, right? She would have like 50 kids, guys. I mean, come on now. Absolutely, positively ridiculous. You guys know that. All right, so let's do a little interlude. Just give me a second, guys, because I'm looking for something here. Every black woman, you know, thing, I'm never going to be able to fucking, I'm never going to succeed. <sighs> Stressful. Breakups effing suck. I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut down on my cussing on this channel. But breakups effing suck so bad that it's just like, ugh. I don't know. I just think of I just think of all these different things. Like, what if he gets somebody pregnant? Like, what if what if he? Because he's so irresponsible. Like, men are so irresponsible sometimes. Like, what if he what, what if he goes out there and just you know is having a free for all, and then like next thing you know, there's a baby that pops up out of the woodworks, and we're still married, and we you know what I mean? I haven't even talked. Like, I would be so hurt. I have no idea. So y'all heard that right? So if a baby popped out of the woodworks, she would be hurt. And yet she can get pregnant by whoever she wants to while still married to Debumkus. All right. While still married, just like Liv did after Liv talked uh, cash money shit about Chrissy. Oh, you have too many baby daddies, this, that, and the other, this, that, da, 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 da. Yeah. So he did what you were scared of him doing to you. You're scared of him doing that to you. Yet you tried to do that to him twice. Even though DeMarcus did have a baby after him and Chrissy. That's not the point. We're talking about Chrissy right now. We're not talking about DeMarcus. So she was scared to have, for DeMarcus to have a baby on her. Yet she tried to have a baby with Rod. And then she got pregnant by Daddy Longtooth. So yeah, Chrissy. Whatever. All right. All right, guys, give me a second because I want to pull up another video. So let's enjoy this clip. I see how you might get the impression that I'm a baby making factory and that's all I just give a fuck about, but that's really not all I care about. A lot of detective determined that was a lie. Don't care if you think I'm a hoe. I don't give a fuck. I promise you, I'm still gonna go on trips. I'm still going to fuck. I'm still going to suck. I'm still gonna have a good time. I'm still gonna date. I'm still gonna bring whoever I want around my kids. And I'm sorry if that makes you mad, but you don't stop shit over here. I don't give a fuck. Trifling. And I'm recording this. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, we're done with Strong Mommy Chrissy. We're going to go into Wine, Trash, and Chill or Wine, Trash, and Pills, whatever you prefer. Let's go ahead and share the screen. All right, guys, so this video is going to be titled, They Cheated on Me Twice. Let me ex explain. So let's go ahead and get into this, see what she has to say here. I got a whole thing planned for, for today. I have to go. Well, I don't have to go. My sister is coming to do First of all, why did you get on here um, looking crazy as hell? 
Look, I don't have anything against natural hair or wearing natural hairstyles, okay? That's how the hair grows out the head. There's no problem with that. The problem is have some fucking pride in the way you look and how you come out the house. You do hair wine trash. Do your hair. Um, slick down your sides. Pull your hair into a nice little, you could do two ponytails and you could at least put some oil and some little, you know, just a little bit of oil on there and smooth it out a little bit. You just come out looking like a complete nutcase. Um, I'm praying that it don't take that long. Um, so I won't be looking ranching and crazy out here, y'all, because listen, <laughs> I'll just be like, fuck this hair, but I'm looking bad out here in these streets, okay? So y'all gonna watch her do that. Um, what else, y'all? I am feeling a little bit better today. Um, not so exhausted or, you know, feeling like let me speak her up, y'all, because you know like, she's a slow talker no and she's annoying and her shit, voice is annoying. I've been feeling lately. Like I've been feeling like I have no motivation. I need, I don't know. But I'm feeling a little better today. I'm waiting on back. Me and Bay medication is taking. It's gonna take thirty minutes because. Bae oh wait a minute, heal. guys! It's her and Bay's depression medication. Okay, just for those of you who do not know, I am aware that I, uh, most people have mental issues. Not most people, but you know, everybody suffers from depression, anxiety here and there in their lives. It happens. We are human beings. We have lose loved ones. We lose babies. We fake lose babies. We have kids who have problems. We have uh, uh, older parents who may have needs. I'm not saying that nobody's allowed to be depressed. I'm not saying that nobody's allowed to have anxiety. What are you doing to better your life? That's what I'm asking. Are you going to do anything about it? Or are you going to come on YouTube and try to make coins off of suffering, off of your own suffering? I guess you can do that. But are you going to better your life so you can shut the fuck up one day? Nope. And you know, y'all, I'm in here. I have to always stop to give me some McDonald's. So I got my lovely fries. Oh, it's still good. Girl, get to the point. I don't know why. Get to the point. Food just tastes so good lately. But anywho. Um, I got my caramel frat fay too. And it's frat actually holding down pretty good. My Did she just say a me. caramel frat fay? Wait a minute. I got my caramel frat fay too. What? And it's so good lately. <laughs> Wait, but let's see what she gonna say, y'all. I got my caramel and frat fay too. Frat fay, and it's actually holding down pretty what good. What is a frat fay? Oh my god, girl. Crossed. Slow, so. slow. And by the way, y'all, I do want to get on here and express something to y'all. I was gonna come on live and do it, but I'm just gonna say it right here. So I know a lot of people was confused about my last video, um, my last live. I said I was struggling, we were struggling. And then I expressed some things that I never expressed before was that um, me and Bay situation. And I know a lot of people are confused about it. And the way I oh, said some things is a little bit different than how you guys probably thought it was. Mm -hmm. So me and Bay been together for 12 years, okay? 12 years and haven't accomplished shit 12 years and you work your way somehow to a three-bedroom house back to two two-bedroom apartments girl how sway how okay. our 12-year mark just passed and i and now you're at the store picking up your depression medication i wonder why i wonder why you're depressed because you guys are losers a team of losers is going nowhere said on my live video that they has children outside of our relationship which he does but the the two kids that he does have was before our relationship they has never cheated okay on him guys so i knew that he had one kid and i i heard us say something about they going to celebrate his daughter's birthday or his daughter's birthday was right next to some holiday that they wanted to celebrate but they were like oh but it's Bay's daughter's birthday so it's two so let me listen closely the baby two babies no nothing so i don't want y'all to expect that 
and for the marriage thing it's not him it's me and between me and him we both agreed on marriage right now is just not in our wait a minute you're pregnant with Bay's fourth kid Let, let's break it down y'all y'all want explanations y'all want details i'm giving it to you you're pregnant with four baby number four So she's pregnant on this video with baby Esme. You're pregnant with baby number four. You've been together for 12 years. But you're not good enough to marry, but you're good enough for him to impregnate you four times. And you're good enough to keep having babies and him not helping you take care of them. And you're good enough to pick up his depression pills, but you're not good enough to marry. Got it. Got it our lifestyle and it's not that he don't want to get married or is i don't want to get married it's just the situations that we're going through um so for a lot of people who was confused let me just sum this up bay is not like keisha and jeremy me and Ke me and bay is not like wait a minute i know you're not coming for keisha because at least i'm gonna give have to give keisha some points on this one i know y'all may not be like no don't do it don't do it don't give her points but i'm gonna have to do it Keisha does try to make money. Let's give it to her with that, y'all. Keisha tries to level up. She may not always succeed, but she did buy a house. Keisha has a house, enough for her kids. Now, Jeremy and Bay are both deadbeat musicians, so they have that in common. And you and Keisha are both dingbats, so y'all have that in common. All right, let me let her finish talking, y'all. <laughs> Keisha and Jeremy, when I expressed that I cannot relate to that, and I meant that truly through my heart, I cannot relate. Oh, you can't relate to Jeremy cheating on Keisha, but you can relate to Bay and Jeremy being both deadbeat dads. All right, got it. That because Bay had kids before our relationship. Anna is 12. So me and Bay met when Anna was born. The situation between him and his baby mama was not a relationship. So so when Anna was born, he didn't know nothing about it until the mama brought the baby over, okay? And me and Bay, we was just started talking around that time. So things was like, we was 17 years old, okay? We was young. And it is what it is. He had that baby. It was not a relationship. It was just a thing, okay? Okay, so Bay was dick dashing. Got it. We got it. So Jeremy is a dick dasher. Bay is a dick dasher, but you can't relate to Keisha. Got it. And I don't want y'all to feel some type of way because I said it wrong in that video. Um, his oldest daughter will be 13 in October. So all these kids are before are before me and Bay's relationship. We just happened to meet around the time the baby, well, his other child, not his oldest, his, his child before my son, um, we just happened to meet right in the time All right, she so was born. for y'all that don't know who Wine Glass and Chill is, if you frequented this channel, you probably know who she is. But let me just give you a little taste of who we're working with, okay? We got to know who we're working with. Oh, you're talking so bad about the mommies. What's going on? This is what's going on.
trifling. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, guys. So if you were wondering, who's this person? This person is a dirt ball. This is Dirt Ball and Chill. Her channel, Wine Glass and Chill. All right. Now, Wine Bay, <laughs> let me explain something to you. You don't have any room to talk about Keisha and Jeremy. All right. Now, we don't care if he was shot, stabbed, or recovering from surgery. Deadbeat Bay is still obligated to help you take care of those kids, and he don't do shit. I said it once, and I'll say it again. You need to tell him to get up off of his fat behind and help you take care of those kids, and then you just show, wait a minute, y'all. The next time, I, the next video I have, I promise you, we're going to see Wine Trash in her new bed. How the hell, the next the next video, how the hell are you and Bay just like hips and j jazz, was fitting in that full size bed. I'm not lying, y'all. It looks smaller than a full size. I know it's not a twin. Is it a size between twin and full size, y'all? Because how in the hell is Bay? Bay every bit of a four X. Bay, I'm telling you, Bay weigh like between 350 and 400 pounds. How the hell are you and Big Bay, aka Rick Ross Jr., aka the 35 year old rapper, just getting on his toes? Just getting started. What the hell that's about? See, that's what I said. Jeremy and Bay, they got a lot in common. They're both deadbeats. They both have no real occupation. They both are not man enough to man up and take care of their families. Now, I don't know about Jeremy, but Bay lays on his ass all day and puts a dent in their full-size bed while wine class is struggling to I got to cook the cook the food. I got to clean up. I've got to get the kids ready for school. Why are you taking that baby to school? Why can't Bay lazy ass finally once in his life babysit that damn baby while you do something for the kids? All right, y'all, let's get back into this reaction. Okay. And the situation with that baby mama is very sticky. And I just don't want to go into detail about it because it's a lot of touchy shit. And I'm just going to say it. it is just a lot of touchy shit. And it's just things that we just don't want Let's to Let's not forget. Right now, okay? In here, eating her fries and drinking her frat fray. Not her frat pay, her frat fray. <laughs> and as far as us getting married, I feel like it's not a rush. Like, me and him sat down. We agreed to this years ago. Um, and we agreed to wait until a few more years until we can get it together okay now if we get married we just don't want we get married and we have to go to court the, the other baby moms could take us to court and end up getting partial my income too what income food stamps don't qualify as income or are you talking about those slow checks that you get for for one of those kids see i've read somewhere that people with kids with ADHD no it's autism I think get a check so I'm gonna be looking that up while we looking at this reaction to see if that's true okay so uh, legitly like me and baby been together for 12 years yes I'm not gonna say we're perfect we are not perfect we had fucked ups and everything but he never had a kid outside of our relationship we, he never cheated we always been a union so Okay, if your child is struggling with symptoms of severe HDAD, you may qualify for federal benefits. For example, Supplemental Social Security Income, SSI, under the Federal Social Security Program is designed to help children under 18 who are affected by severe chronic conditions. So that's ADHD. Let me see about autism. What I say is what I stick with, okay? I just don't want y'all to get confused about that. Um, they don't like to be on camera too much. I mean, if he does, you know, I don't want to force it on him and stuff like that. And I know, like, a lot of people like to do couples, um, like, things. I'm trying to ease him into it, but I'm not going to force him. Even my son, my oldest son, RJ, he don't even like to be on camera. So I have to respect that. Um, what else, y'all? So, yeah, me and Bay is legit. <laughs> we are okay, not Okay, so this is why they don't want to work, y'all. So I'm going to read two things. SSI provides monthly financial support to low-income families with children who have developmental and behavioral disabilities. So that's why Juan Trash, the Munchausen mom, always wants something to be wrong with her kids because she's really trying to just gain a check off of all of them. This includes ASD and physical impairments. I don't know what ASD is. Oh, maybe it's autism. 
I don't know what uh, I don't know what ASD is. Y'all probably know what that is. All right. So this is another one. Why is my autistic son denied SSI benefits? Your child's income and resources or the income and resources of family members living in the child's household may exceed the amount allowed. If so, we will deny the child's application for SSI payments. So now it makes sense, y'all. The reason why her and they don't want to work is because she wants to continue be having Munchausen, Munchausen mom. She wants to continue her title carrying the torch for the mom with the most sick kids that have the most problems. She wants to get a check for them and she doesn't want to work anywhere because she doesn't want that money on record. That way she doesn't have to worry about ever getting a job. She can just live off of the checks. I get the game that she's playing now. Phony. We never, he never cheated on me and had two babies. And I come on here and react on Keisha and be like, I can't relate to that. Like when I say I really can't relate to that is because cold heartedly, I cannot relate to that because I haven't went through that with my man. Okay. My man made music about me. I don't have to come on here and really just have to express it. I just don't want y'all to be confused or, you know, I don't want y'all to feel some type of way because of what I said and because I didn't say it right. Okay. It's not that you guys feel some type of way about that. No, it's not that. It's just how I said it. So I apologize to y'all about the way I said it. Um, and just know me and Bay is legit. Yes. And I took my ring off because listen, it's like this pregnancy. I am huge. Okay. And if you new here, subscribe to my channel. We are 100% raw and honest. You know what I mean? And Bay did say this before. Bay always said, Bay, if you're going to do reactions, you know what I mean? We are 100 over here. Just remember, people can react off of us too. So keep that. You damn right. I'm keeping it in mind. You ain't got to worry about telling me. You're and So like I said, for those of you who are new here or just don't know, and you're just getting into the mom's wine, wine, glass, and chill, dirt ball and chill, wine, trash, and chill, wine, trash, and pills, is an ex-reactor. She's a reactor turned into content. She is a reactor who had the nerve to get on here and talk about Jazzy when all her children have all these issues and she's mm, a not so good mom. She's filthy and trifling and a welfare recipient and ghetto, just like the rest of them. All right, so Wine Trash and Chill came on here trying to talk about Jazz and now she's turned into a lower class version of Jazz, actually. So, yeah, she's an ex-reactor, guys, for those of you who did not know. That in mind. You know what I mean? So, people just have an opinion about us, too. And he right. You know what I mean? So, if people feel some type of way about me and Bay, that's y'all opinion. It's okay. It's okay. I love y'all anyways, even if y'all watching. Even if y'all don't like me. It's fine. It's cool. But that would be the last time I ever say anything about it. It is what it is, and it's over, okay? No, we did not get Anna for her birthday. And, you know, it's kind of sad because your house soiled and unsightly, and you claim that Bay has PTSD. First of all, what don't you have? That's the question, because everybody got something, a little something they're dealing with in life because of, you know, things that happen to you. You know, shit happens. But you claim that Bay has PTSD, but that doesn't excuse him from paying bills. That doesn't excuse him from cleaning up. That doesn't excuse him from washing his ass. And that does not excuse him from taking care of his responsibilities, which I never, ever see him do. I've only seen two things that he's done. Watch the baby when you showed him laying on his ass, uh, taking a nap on the couch, which he probably does all day long. Or either playing that game like he's 16 years old, right? That doesn't excuse Bay from handling his business and taking care of his family and being at my end. Now, even with a partner, I understand that your house gets messy because you have four kids. That's true. But your house isn't messy. It's filthy and dirty. Bay has an LLC. Bay is there every night with me. Me and Bay have the luxury of not working outside our homes. Girl, get a life and tell tell it to someone who actually believes you. You know, Bay got Bay could get her if he wanted to, if he really wanted to go fight and go get her. But we just gonna just keep it Bay because a lot of stuff with her, the baby mama, period, is 
very, very difficult to explain and get on here, okay? All right, so I'm at Myers. I can never talk in Myers, so y'all can see what I go look for. My phone is fully charged, so we're gonna go in here and look and see. I probably won't spend that. Oh, I have to get okay. All right, so we're done with wine trash. We are done. Um, but guys, look. I want you guys to hit the thumbs up on your way out. Before you leave, I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you through um, being here for this reaction. For those of you who are new, thank you for returning. All right. And for my OGs and all my long-term supporters, I appreciate your support. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next reaction. Have a good day, guys.